Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at what it means and what you can do about getting a syntax error when you're using a scientific calculator. For this example we'll be using the Casio FX CG50 but this is applicable to pretty much all scientific and graphing calculators. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. Typically, when you see the words syntax error pop up on your calculator, it means you've entered something your calculator doesn't understand how to deal with. An example of this would be if we're trying to find the sine of 45 and enter it like this sine 45, and then without a left bracket, just a right bracket. If we now hit EXE, we get our syntax error popping up. That's because our calculator doesn't know how to interpret what we've written here, because we've only included half the brackets required. So if we go back with the exit key, scroll over, and enter our left bracket so that we have both brackets, and now we hit EXE, we see we get the result without the syntax error. Another example. Let's say we enter something like this, one plus times three. So we have the plus and the times right beside each other with nothing in between them. If we hit EXE on that, and we see the syntax error again pop up because our calculator doesn't know how to interpret that. So we can exit out of there. And we see our cursor has been automatically moved between the plus and the multiplication signs which is where the calculator encountered the syntax error. So now if we enter something like a two in there, that should solve our syntax error. And if we hit EXE, now we see we get a result. So as we've seen, syntax error typically means we made a mistake somewhere entering our equation. And if we're lucky, the calculator will let us know where that error occurred. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.